Hi there, this is Dr. Michael Shearer. In this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about how we go ahead and we work up our Zest Encompass cases. First and foremost, Encompass is an all-in-one solution that includes surgical guide, the surgical workup or treatment plan, our dental implants, an absolute forever denture, and a whole lot more goodies. Make sure you check out some of our other videos on how we introduce Encompass and we take a look on the inside of the Encompass box. In this video, we're going to be talking specifically on the case workup requirement that we need to go ahead and gather the information prior to sending it on off to the laboratory. First and foremost, we have to make sure that we choose our case. Encompass is designed for an edentulous patient working towards either a maxillary or mandibular case. Your patient should ideally already have an existing denture in place that we can go ahead and utilize as a reference marker. So first and foremost, when we look at our patients, we want to find a patient that fits into that category and then a patient that's pretty much ready to go with implant procedures. Diagnostics and treatment planning is critical. So we want to find that patient that we know will be a pretty straightforward patient, especially as our first encompass case. Once we've identified our patient, we want to make sure that we go ahead and we tell our patient all about the exciting things that Encompass does. If you're going to go ahead and more or less get that patient ready for an implant overdenture, there's two routes that we can go with Encompass. We can either go ahead and place the dental implants on that first surgical visit and then also immediately load the prosthesis. Or alternatively, we can tell the patient we can place the dental implants with the Navigation Synergy Surgical Guide, and then simply wait until the implants are fully healed before we go ahead and we connect the prosthesis. Either way, you can go ahead and utilize Encompass for those edentulist cases in either one of those routes. First step, we'll go ahead and identify our patient. They're a good candidate, medically they're a good candidate, healthy, ready to go ahead and proceed with implant overdenture surgical procedure. Once we have our patient identified, we want to go ahead and we gather all the information required for Encompass. First and foremost, we have our patient identified. Second of all, we have the patient that we have an existing prosthesis. Third, we're going to see the patient for a data collection visit. And in that data collection visit, we're going to go ahead and take the patient's denture and make sure it's a well-fitting denture. What does that mean? If I have an existing immediate denture that's really floppy, I want to make sure that I do a laboratory or chairside reline prior to doing your data collection appointment. Alternatively, if I have a loose kind of immediate denture, I can also go ahead and use a reline PBS impression material like First Quarter from Zest Dental Solutions in Danville. So you have two options of the way to do it. You want to go ahead and take a patient's existing denture and either do a chairside or laboratory hard reline or soft reline with a soft reline like material or option number two is you can use a PVS impression on the inside of your denture on that first day for data collection. Both are great options. Once you go ahead and make sure that your denture is a well-fitting denture then we want to go ahead and we take radiographic markers and stick them on the denture. Once we make the radiographic marker stick on the denture we pop it back into the patient's mouth. The patient then is going to go ahead and have a comb beam CT made with that prosthesis in the mouth with cotton rolls in the buccal or lingual or both around the complete denture. Essentially we want to create an air pocket around this prosthesis so that way the navigation synergy team can see the prosthesis evenly all the way around. Once we go ahead and we make the CBCT scan of the patient with the prosthesis in, we take that patient, bring them back to the operatory, have them have a seat. We remove the prosthesis and then we make an optical scan of that prosthesis with the reline, either hard or soft uh, laboratory reline, or the PBS impression material. We don't want to remove it before we make the optical scan impression. Additionally, we want to make sure that the stickies are in place while we're making that optical scan impression. Encompass requires two sets of scans. A comb beam scan of the patient wearing the relined prosthesis with the stickers and the optical scan of the prosthesis alone. As a good measure, you can also go ahead and take that prosthesis with the reline and stickers and do a comb beam scan of that prosthesis as well. That is optional, not required by Navigation Synergy, but it can help them go ahead and streamline the procedure. Generally, the first time you do it, two scans. 
One scan of the patient wearing the prosthesis with a comb beam, and the second scan, an optical scan. What does that mean? Either a desktop scanner scan, or you can use an intraoral scanner to scan the denture 360 degrees. We then need to make photographs of the patient. Full face pictures, retracted, and all the data that we need to go ahead and we send to uh, Navigation in Absolute Dental Lab to make a prosthesis. Let's go ahead and jump in and I'll take a look and see how we can go ahead and utilize this prosthesis and show you the steps of realigning it and then also making an optical scan of the prosthesis.